In this screencast, I'm going to describe briefly how to use an interactive simulation that plots the log of pressure versus the log of the specific volume for water. And then the simulation can display various additional data, such as isotherms, the red lines and curves here, by checking the constant temperature box and constant quality lines by checking the constant quality lines. We also can look at constant enthalpy or constant entropy and we can create grid lines on the graph. If we put all these on at the same time it can be a little harder to follow the behavior of some of these parameters. So let's look at the simulation and observe the behavior. So here's the interactive simulation and let's Let's remove these constant temperature lines, look at constant enthalpy lines. Now these blue lines that show enthalpy. And we can look at constant entropy lines that show constant entropy. We can also add in grid lines to make it easier to read values off. But the idea is that it allows us to a little better understand the properties of water by looking at various plots on a pressure volume. Keep in mind this is log pressure and log volume. In the simulation, if you look at the details, it tells where the data were obtained to create this plot. And hopefully by being able to only look at some of the graphs, we can better follow and understand the behavior of water.